sorry for the weird angle but i'm starting the vlog here and my tripod is elsewhere so we're just gonna pretend that i don't look so so close um there's also an alarm going off so i love that when i try and start a video but longest intro ever it is um my birthday week so i thought i would do a vlog because i um it's tuesday no it's not tuesday it's wednesday today my birthday is tomorrow and i've had the day off work today to be honest i haven't done that much i did a full house clean not that it's gonna look very clean at the moment i've moved some furniture around i have um filmed some tiktoks what else have I done? Um, I met my mum and her friend for a coffee. And yeah, I've just been doing bits and bobs, getting bits done, went to the gym, and I've had actually a really productive day at home. Um, I am about to get ready to go out for dinner with my dad and his partner. I've already got my makeup on from shooting content, so that is fab. Back in my dressing gown, because I've literally just finished filming a TikTok. Who am I filming TikToks? If you don't follow me on there, then please do. Yeah, I feel a bit out of my depth on tiktok i don't even know how to film a tiktok on there film off just my phone or on instagram and then upload it i literally have no idea how to use the actual like tiktok making thing anyway that's not what this video is about but yes do follow me on tiktok i'll leave my um username in my bio below but it's literally just my full name same as youtube anyway um yeah already have my makeup on so i just need to steam my clothes that i'm wearing we're just going out for a chinese um, nowhere particularly dressy I don't think so I'm just gonna wear like some suit trousers and a new top that I got from H&M I've actually already filmed today as well kind of actually done quite a lot um, I also filmed an H&M haul that alarm's starting to go off again I really hope you can't hear that um, yeah I also filmed an H&M haul earlier which will be up before this video so if you've not seen that then go and give that a watch because I got some really really good um, basics for the summer and also some like skims and Jeff Avenue dupes so yeah if you want to see that then head on over to that video I can't concentrate while that alarm's going off that's going to really annoy me okay I don't think this alarm's stopping anytime soon so I'm gonna quickly go get changed um and then I will catch up with you guys probably when I'm at dinner later as I said it's my birthday tomorrow and mum and I are going to Brighton so I'll bring you along to that and then Friday Jordan and I are going to London um because he couldn't actually no he could he forgot to book my birthday off work absolutely classic but it's fine um so i'm gonna go and spend the day with him on friday I've got some really lovely tulips on my windowsill i'm trying not to film too much so you can't see where i live um but yeah super cute but yeah i'm gonna go and steam my clothes now they're all dumped on there along with my h&m haul bits and i will catch up with you guys when i am in my outfit and i'll show you guys what i'm wearing tonight so tonight's outfit plan are these very very crushed <laughs> um suit trousers i think i was wearing these suit trousers in my last vlog when i was just going to get my nails done um, but I'm going to steam them. The steamer is on over there. And then I've got this top from H&M, which I featured in my haul. Um, it's just this really nice kind of like scuba material um, square neck top. And then I think I'm just going to pop on um, my leather jacket or like a leather blazer, something along those vibes. And maybe some like wedged flip flops. Um, not really sure what kind of vibe i want to go for but yeah i will need to see how long these trousers are because i don't know if i can get away with wearing only like a little wedged sandal with them because they might be dragging all over the ground but yeah i'm going to steam these and then i will show you what i end up wearing um and what it looks like on this is the top and the trousers on I'm just given the trousers a really quick steam um they're still quite baggy but i feel like the top with the neckline kind of pulls it together what do we think i feel like the lighting on the camera is really really gray so i look super pale but in real life it looks quite cute i think um and then some wedged flip-flops obviously not my ugg slippers that i have on my feet 24 7. see what jackets we've got let me try and prop you guys up I literally just put away my tripod and I don't know why I did that because that's not very helpful for you guys to see what I'm doing. I do have the blazer jacket that goes with these trousers but I feel like that's too 
much bagginess. Oh God, I actually despise that stick thing. It's basically to open these, I don't know what they're called. It be they begin with a V, like the windows that are on the roof, but it always falls on me. So I could put on my black leather, fake leather blazer from Bershka, I think this is. That looks quite cool. I'm just trying to think of a jacket that if I need to in the restaurant wear it to eat, that I'm not going to be like super bulky. I feel like that's quite cute. If I had like some flip floppy sandals on. Let me show you in the actual mirror. Um, because yeah, I feel like I'm going to be too cold just with the tank top on. But this is still quite cute. What do we think? Good morning everyone. I'm back in the same spot but it's the next day so it's my birthday and I am just about to be picked up to go to Brighton. Sorry I didn't film anything at dinner last night. Honestly the food came and then I was given a free shot for my birthday which was Sambuca. I absolutely hate Sambuca. It was so so lovely of the restaurant but I cannot do it. So I gave it to my dad. He was absolutely pissed because um, he's such a lightweight and yeah that was kind of the night so I didn't film any of the food or anything like that so I'm really sorry but today we're going to Brighton um, I'm going with my mum so I will bring you along and show you sunny Brighton um, but I'm going to quickly show you my outfit before I leave. I can't really tell my mum's going to be like why are you wearing pyjamas but um, yeah this is my take on Matilda Jeff's um, vibe. So I am wearing this oversized charcoal blazer, which is my dad's. Um, I've got this boob tube. Is that what they're called? Boob tube. I feel like that's a really old name for them. Um, top from Topshop, actually. So it is super old. Then I've got these striped um, pajama pants on from uh, H and M. They actually are pajama trousers but we're going with that. And then I've just got my new balance on. And then the bag I think I'm gonna take with me is this one, but I'm just trying to work out whether I want the strap on or not, if I'm gonna wear it crossbody or not. But yeah, I need to quickly go and get my sunglasses from downstairs and then my mum's picking me up. So need to quickly decide on the strap situation. But yeah, um, got some really, really lovely presents this morning from Jordan, so I will show you those later on. But yeah, I'm just looking forward to a day in the sun um, with my mum, so that'll be really fun. And I will be sure to bring you guys along. You're fully charged, so that is zero excuse. Um, and Bella has um, had her head in the wrapping paper. I'll try and include a picture here. Um, she literally was making me die this morning. She had her hair like fully her head, sorry, fully in um, the wrapping paper when I was opening my presents, which was super funny. But yeah, I'm going to go and finish getting ready and then I will catch up with you guys when we are travelling to Brighton. We're going to the trees. Oh, or not. There we go. It's a bit better.
don't mind what I look like right now. Um, it is, uh, what day is it? Saturday today. And I have had a pretty chill day, to be honest. I went to boot camp and had a coffee um, out. And then I've just come back and have done my hair for tonight. Um, and yeah, I haven't really done much. I have just had a bit of a tidy around the house. I'm actually going out tonight for a friend's birthday um and i have decided to put rollers in my hair it's not like we're going anywhere particularly um dressy or anything like that but i really fancied just while i've got the time to put my hair up in some rollers and see if i can get better at it this bit obviously did not make the cut i have a fresh layer of fake tan on because I did that typical thing last night where I was like I really cannot be bothered to put fake tan on and then I woke up this morning had a shower and kind of realized that mine was all gone so I don't know if I've actually left this on for long enough to actually do anything but we will see um but yeah I just used the fake tan that I spoke about in my last um vlog if you guys want to know what I use then you can head on over to that video and I speak a little bit more about it but yeah I can't believe I'm actually videoing myself like this but I am just going to edit a video that I filmed the other day in my H&M haul um, and just have that ready to go up this week because um, yeah I'll be working and don't want to rush editing it and things like that when I've got the time to do it so I've got a couple of hours until I need to get the train um, I'm also like super into my TikToks at the moment so I'm going to try and do a TikTok when I get ready but I will probably speak to you guys when I'm doing my makeup I didn't really say, yesterday Jordan and I went to London and we went to Sushi Samba. Sushi Samba? What am I on about? We didn't go to Sushi Samba. We went to the Ivy Asia, um, the St Paul's one, not the Chelsea Garden one. Um, but yeah, it was really, really lovely. The food, I don't really know what my expectations were. I, they just weren't that high. I kind of thought it was just going to be another one of those places that everyone hypes on about and it's kind of... Um, pretty average but it was really really good the surface was good um, we had a really nice view of St Paul's um, so hopefully you guys will have enjoyed the clips that I've inserted before this um, and yeah sorry I didn't really speak to the camera much I was planning to when I got home but I'd done so so many steps in Brighton on my birthday and then also yesterday in London I was just absolutely exhausted so we just came home watched Married at First Sight Australia and that was it. So yeah, I didn't really vlog anything else. Um, once I'm looking a little bit more presentable, I'm gonna show you a few things that I got for my birthday. Just a few little bits um, I thought would be nice to include in this video. I'm gonna get on it now and edit this H&M haul and then I will catch up with you guys, hopefully when I look a little bit more presentable. I tried to film me taking my rollers out, but I don't know how well you could see because I'd had them in quite a while and they got a little bit tangled um, and kind of hurt taking them out. So we will see if I managed to get any footage of that. Um, I just really quickly did my makeup. I literally did the same makeup pretty much that I did in my um, last video. So my birthday makeup is basically my everyday makeup. If you can kind of see that, it's just my NARS. Um, tinted moisturiser, bronzer, concealer, blush, mascara and eyebrows really um, and then my go-to lip combo which I've spoken about before. I've tried to get ready a bit early so I've got time to take some pictures so yeah let's see how I get on and hopefully I'm not late but yeah this is my outfit don't mind the bed. I, I'm liking my hair but I feel like the rest of it lacks volume and then it's all kind of at the bottom um, but my blazer is a vintage uh, reworked, like, cropped one, which I've had for a little while now. And then the skirt, I was trying to think earlier how long I've had this for. I think it must have been about four or five years from ASOS. Um, it's just, like, this knitted skirt, and I've also got a jumper that goes with it. I've never worn it dressy like this, but I actually really like the knitted kind of look. It makes it look a bit more casual, even though I'm literally wearing a matching cord. And then I've got my Primark heels on. The floor needs hoovered, please don't mind that. Um, my Primark heels on that I wore for my birthday. Yeah, that is my outfit. The bag I'm going to take with me is just my little Louis Vuitton one because I can just fling it over my shoulder and I feel like that kind of goes with the look. I don't really know if it does actually. My earrings, I actually have no idea where these hoops are from but they're just like medium-sized gold 
scoops. Just setting you guys up, this is like my new go-to place because I don't need to put my tripod here. Um, but I just wanted to quickly show you some of the things I got for my birthday. So two seconds, let me run it and grab them. As this is kind of like the roundup of my birthday content, um, this video, I wanted to quickly show you some of the things that some people had got for me for my birthday. I'm so, so grateful to everybody that actually said happy birthday to me or came on my night out or celebrated with me in any way, shape or form. But I just wanted to show you guys some of the bits that I was gifted for my birthday because I think it's quite interesting to watch and also to get inspiration for friends' presents or boyfriends or girlfriends' presents. Um by watching these so i thought i would just include this tiny little clip in here um but i'm gonna start off with the present that my um friend annabelle got for me she i need to put this on for tonight actually um i need to get jordan to do it for me i think i've actually got anything from monica vinada or vinada whatever it's called um but this is so so gorgeous and i absolutely absolutely love it and then that kind of leads me on to the next present because it goes so well with it. My mum and my sister gave me money towards um, a bracelet because I was looking for a gold bracelet for ages. And um, yeah, they basically said that they would give me money towards one for my birthday. When I was in Brighton the other day, I saw this one in a jeweler's and absolutely fell in love. I actually was looking for, funnily enough, one more similar to the one that Annabelle got me. Um from monica vinader but i saw this one and just thought it was so different Lee got a little name plate on it sorry my blazer is way too big for me so i'm always trying to turn up the sleeves um but i don't know if you can see very well it's a gold um chain bracelet and then here i don't know if my camera is going to focus they basically engraved my name in it for me at the jewelers it was plain um and i could have anything i wanted on it i thought my name was probably the most sensible option i didn't really know and something i wasn't gonna get bored of so yeah i got that and that was so so kind of my mum and my sister to give me money towards that and then speaking of jordan he got me really kindly some gym shark leggings i don't tend to treat myself to new gym wear unless it's a little bit cheaper like h&m or primark or something like that but he got me these really beautiful green leggings they're like a forest green with the logo on them and then they've kind of got this spot detail which is super flattering i wore them to boot camp this morning and gymshark leggings do not budge like they are absolutely amazing and um, they really fit my body type aka girl with no hips um so yeah they're so lovely and really flattering and i will get loads of wear out of those and also from jordan he got me a really really lovely sweatshirt from adenola um i think again is how you pronounce it it's this big navy blue sweatshirt and that is the logo on it and kind of like a yellowy lime green he bless him somehow thought that he'd ordered me the white version but actually i absolutely love navy and the white one would have lasted me two seconds because i am horrendous at getting things dirty so yeah he got that for me in a size large which is really super cozy and comfy and i can't wait to wear that i'm definitely going to be wearing that tomorrow when i'm a little bit hungover from tonight but yeah that is the main bits that i got for my birthday as i said i got lots of um lovely messages and i got some money and things like that from other friends and family and my mum got me a candle which is on my bedside table but um yeah i just wanted to show a few bits to kind of round up this video and yeah that is everything i think that i've got exciting happening today and tomorrow i am obviously going on a night out tonight so if there's anything fun i can insert the clips from that but to be honest um i don't think it will be vlog worthy content me just sitting there drinking vodka lime sodas yeah i'm probably gonna end the video here thank you so so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in my next video